Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Cedric. I am an actor, a filmmaker, a screenwriter, and a YouTuber. We're continuing with the BTS trend. This is one of the final kind of behind the scenes uh, uh, series that I'm doing before we very, very soon launch into the universe. I am going to take a BTS break within the next few weeks and just get to a couple other things. I hope you'll stick around for that. If not, it's all right too. You do you. You make your own choices. I'll be here. I appreciate you anyway. But we are going to get to the BTS universe that is coming soon. I'm really excited to check that out. But before we do that, I really wanted to see the Black Swan dance practice. I know a lot of you wanted me to watch Jimin's solo stuff for this as well, which I will do. But this is the group dance practice. I actually don't know if I've seen them perform this as a group. I mean, I saw the music video, so there's there's probably elements of this that were in that. But they have not performed it as a, as a full ensemble uh, at the MMAs, which is where I saw. I don't think they did. Maybe they did. Uh, I don't. It's been a little bit since I watched that. I loved what they did there. So I'm excited to see what they do during this. I really like this song, and I'm sure that this dance is going to be full of symbolism. So I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to kind of check out the the choreography itself and, and really focus on the artistry of that because it's really easy for me to lose sight of that within the music videos. So I'm excited to see how that goes. Thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you so, so much for supporting me. It's great. I hope you're enjoying the content there. I just appreciate you is all. The poll for the name of our little YouTube community is still open and available. So that link is down in the comments. Check that out. Vote if you don't want to be a part of that or don't have a thought on the name. That's cool too. That's all right. I'm just interested. It was suggested, threw it out there. Response was good, got a lot of good ideas. So we're checking it out. We're seeing what the community thinks. Popular vote, that's what's gonna happen here. It's gonna be whatever everyone wants, as long as I like it. Put that thing back where it came from, also help me. Get that thing away from me, you guys. Okay. some cold poses oh nice ripple it's very fluid so you're using a lot of spread flexed fingers it's kind of reminiscent of wings notice how they kind of stepped away from the fluidity there when the beat came in it's a lot more quick Oh, that's... that was cool. Nice. Nice. So they're using choreography to guide where you're looking. Again, that's got that bird image there. Nice. Using that sweeping motion. Nice. See again, bringing those arms up like that. It's very reminiscent of wings. Oh, that was cool. Boy, how many times do I have to say this in how many videos? Y'all are gonna think that I don't have any other phrases and maybe I don't. They are really, really good. They're really good. They're hitting very specific moments and images, which is kind of essential in, in uh, storytelling through choreography is that you you have a series of movements, right? And you're learning those movements and you're learning the muscle memory of it, but then you also have to learn the intent and the image that you're trying to create. So every movement uh, is either an image or you're transporting yourself to an image. And that's what's really important. Every moment is either character or character moving to character. That's the same across acting as it is in dance. 
that's absolutely what it is just gonna be and so watch even as they transition how they're kind of sloping with their shoulders and it's all either very fluid or very you know very quick movements which is very animalistic and again we're talking about a song called black swan so they're using a lot of that imagery a lot of almost a, a prey image and the song itself is about um losing kind of your passion or losing the chance at it and what that would mean and what that would look like. So using the choreography to really push that image, have them be a group and then separate and then isolated and then a group again. It's very in and out and very reminiscent of that potential loneliness, that potential loss that they have. You're seeing a lot of very uh, images like this, which is of course how we, well, that's more of a butterfly, I guess, but it could be a bird. I'm not big on shadow puppetry. I don't actually know. If any of you are shadow puppet experts, let me know. But you're seeing a lot of that imagery, a lot of kind of up like that, or boom, bah, right? A lot of that kind of either quick or fluid, but kind of wing imagery with it. It's just really good. It's really well done. And each member kind of has their own story that they're telling through. I'm finding it actually really hard to recognize them, even though obviously I've, I've gotten a lot better at it. But for whatever reason, at first I wasn't sure this was the right video because Jimin had his, like a, a ponytail going on, which is great. Totally. I could never pull that off. He looks great. But I was like, is that them? Uh, so it threw me off for a sec. But they're fantastic. I, I don't think I've seen most of this choreography before. So this is really cool. Now look at that. They're using a lot of ripples too. That's that fluidity that I'm talking about. And then a quick movement. And the way that they hand off the choreography and the vocals to each other. Look at them using levels as they come in. Boom, 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 right? That was nice. Nice extension on the leg, flexed foot. See, yeah, 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 pushing out to that imagery again. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice. Notice how they're using a lot of shoulders rolling to kind of push the chest out and back in. They're also using a lot of single leg extensions, which is cool. Nice. That was very imagery of almost taking a breath. And back to this at the beginning. And back to that. Man. Man. Man, they are really good. They're just, they're gorgeous performers. Everything is very controlled and internalized and so much of performance is about thinking and, and not thinking about I have to extend my leg here because the choreographer told me to, but thinking of why you're extending the leg, what that means, being present in your head and in the moment as a character, as a performer, uh, and, and trying to say something with it and knowing that the audience might take something completely different from it, but that doesn't mean that you misspoke or that you did a poor job. That just means that they took something from it, which is the ultimate goal of art. So when you watch them and they're, doing these full extensions and their whole bodies into it if you're watching their arm right if the if the movement is supposed to be that you're watching them push with a flexed hand and their shoulders are pulled back then you know pause it and look at their feet and watch what their ankles are doing watch what their what their toes are doing watch what their calves are doing watch every single muscle of their body is engaged in the performance, in the character, in what is going on. So it's not just about what they want you to see, it's also about what they need to do. It's also about what you're not looking at that's engaged. That's what makes it so intricate and cool to watch. I guarantee if you go back and you watch this and you watch it just once watching just the feet and just once watching just the hands and just once watching just their faces, you will notice something different 
every time. And that is because they are so engaged and present with the story that they're telling and what they're trying to say with it that it's irresistible. It's magnetic. I also just think that this song lends itself so well to performance and so well to sort of an... Uh, I don't know how else to say it. Like the word like foggy intellectualism comes to mind. Like it's it's sort of a... It makes you think, but I don't quite like it feels like I'm in a bit of a fog watching it. And I mean that as, as a compliment. It's it's a very interesting place to put me as a viewer. And it, it's just one that kind of sticks with me with the performance, the dance of it, the song, the orchestration, everything just really kind of sits in a weird place with me. And, and that's a good thing. It's a very, very cool song. I think it's very different than a lot of their stuff, too. I really like this. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for suggesting this. I really like this song. I really love this dance. I'm excited to see Jimin's solo parts for the music video. I just, every video, I am understanding so much more of this global phenomenon, and I'm upset that I didn't notice it sooner or, or be a part of it sooner, but I'm so glad that you all are a part of this because this isn't just like for clicks thing. This is that you all have educated me and inspired me to keep going with this. And, and it's been really amazing. So again, happy new year. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back soon with another video. I purple you. Thank you.